Hi, I'm Amelie with Systematic Excellence Consulting, and I'm gonna go over ClickUp reminders. Um, I really love these. Um, uh, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to catch you know future videos and check out the past ones. Um, and if you're looking for some additional help, um, I've gone over a lot of the basics of ClickUp already. So reminders are fantastic. I really, I use them when um, I'm working on something and let's say something pops up and I think, oh, you know, I, I don't want to forget to do this. Um, and I can either write it down or I can create a reminder with a due date so I don't forget. So I've already created a couple here just so I can show you and then I'll also show you about creating one. So right now I'm in the home, uh, the home screen and uh, this shows me the different tasks that are assigned to me, things that are upcoming. It shows me comments and things that are done and, and delegated. So here I've created some reminders. Uh, these I didn't um, necessarily put um, a due date on or something like that. Um, I just put a reminder, record this video, call my mom, you know, that kind of thing. So let's say if I want to get notified, uh, I can choose, you know, whether it's on the day, 10 minutes before, an hour before, custom, don't notify. So we're going to say on the due date, I want to get a notification. Um, and then in the notification center, which is actually something I've uh, gone over in a previous video going over um, notifications. So I'm just going to go back here so you can see them call my mom. So let's say I, um, I want to snooze the reminder until let's, I want to do it probably we'll say tomorrow, you know, at 8am is when I want to get the reminder. So it's going to move it down here to, um, my next, anything that's coming up. Um, and for my mom, let's say I already called my mom. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit done and close that reminder out. Now that's out of here. Um, okay. So, um, for review this blog, I actually made an attachment. So there's a couple of ways to create a reminder. So we can, if you hover over here, you see reminder and then you can type in whatever the reminder is. So if it's, um, watch video and whatever, you know, and then I want to notify, uh, 10 minutes before. And, um, for, I'm going to set it to be now. Um, let's say we want it at, you know, three fifteen today. So now, and then if we want to attach something, you just click the attachment and you can attach, um, a document, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and let's say, okay, let's, um, so we'll go ahead and hit save on that. So now it's going to produce my, um, <clears throat> my reminder. Um, and then to see this one. So if I click on it, then I can see the attachment that I, that I added. So I can download the attachment. I can add tag. I can delete it. I can also add more. Um, and then from here, let's say, you know what, this actually needs to be a task. So all I do is I click on, um, the little icon right here, convert a reminder into a task and we want to keep the due date, but I want to, I want it to, I want to create a, a task. So I'm going to select the space. I'm going to select the folder and I'm going to add it to that list. So now it's a task that I created review the blog. That's this one tomorrow, 8 AM. So it had the same thing and it still remains to keep, it keeps the, the, um, the attachment. It keeps it, um, once I've created it through, um, when I turned it into a task. So those are reminders and, um, I can delegate. So, um, if I had, so this, test account that we use is on the free forever plan. But if we had the unlimited, then I'd be able to actually delegate this to someone else. I can actually send it to them and it'll show up in their reminder. So they, um, so that they get them. Um, and if you have questions about the differences between the unlimited and the business plan, um, I did a video previously, uh, discussing the differences between the two. So make sure you check out that. Um, 
and then again, I can just delete this. And um, so let's say I'm done with that one. Um, and oops. And if we're done with that, then then that's fine. Um, if it was unscheduled, then it would live under there. So that's creating. Oh, one last thing down here in the right hand corner, you're going to have a little square with smaller squares inside of it. If you click on that, you will be able to create reminders right from there. I actually like that because if I'm in a different screen or I'm not in my home screen to add the reminder, I just do that from um, from the icon down in the right hand corner. Uh, so these are these are helpful to keep you on track when you're working. So if you're working on a project and you don't want to switch over to something else, you know, if you're working inside of ClickUp, you're doing something, but you want you don't want to forget that there's something else to do, then you don't even need to leave the screen to come to the home screen to create the reminder. You just do it from the, the icon down in the right hand corner and you can create a reminder for yourself and it allows you to continue working on whatever you're working on instead of um, context switching and getting distracted. All right, so that is Reminders in ClickUp. Again, my name is Amelie. I am with Systematic Excellence Consulting and make sure you subscribe to catch any um, future videos that we're creating all about ClickUp um, and mastering it to help you in your business. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one support, I do offer a free consulting call and you can book using the link below. Um, thank you so much for watching.